Hi, this is Roger Barrick with Eggland Co-op, and today I'm in a cornfield that was cut for silage. And the producer asked about some of his options on um, what the next crop should be. Well, as you can see, uh, this was cut for silage, so there's not much residue here. Um, his first choice, since it's off so early, today is the 29th of August. Gee, can I plant wheat in there? That'd be a good place to get my wheat planted and uh, off to a good start. <clears throat> um, yes, that can work. Um, also, a regular soybean rotation could work. And a third option would be corn on corn. So, uh, one thing you might want to consider, this field was soil sampled, and we've got the results back already. <clears throat> and... Um, some of the soil tests have ranged from 140 pounds, like this one did, of nitrogen remaining. And some of the uh, winter wheat fields we tested are down in the 20 and 30 pounds of nitrogen. So you kind of want to know what yours did. Um, with this field going 140 pounds of re residual soil nitrogen, um, 140 pounds at about two-thirds of a cent or 67 Two thirds of a dollar, sixty-seven cents a pound. That's about ninety-three dollars of nitrogen left in this field after harvest. So if you go right to soybeans, soybeans are kind of lazy. They are going to uh, use all of that nitrogen before they start making their own. So just keep that in mind. There's about ninety-three dollars of nitrogen that the soybeans are going to eat up first, and maybe it's only five bushels of soybeans this year. So I guess it's still something to keep in mind. Um, another option uh, this producer is wondering about is planting wheat. Since it's off so early, yes, you could plant wheat, and that 140 pounds of nitrogen um, is enough for about 56 bushels of winter wheat. If you would go to corn, the 140 pounds of nitrogen is enough for about uh, 116 bushels of corn. So that's a considerable amount of nitrogen here. Um, that'd be one consideration. <clears throat> um, going corn on corn. Make sure that you use one of our products that have BT rootworm. Rootworm could be a problem. Uh, back in the 80s, before in early 90s, before we had rootworm BT, um, the scouting method to decide whether to use a rootworm insecticide the next year was at silking. You go out and count the number of adult rootworm beetles. So they actually went out and counted bugs. And I don't remember the um, threshold right now, but it was about one per planet, if I remember right. And then if you got that many, then <clears throat> you know you would have to use an insecticide next year. So if you do go corn on corn, consider an insecticide for rootworm or, and or one of the BT corn products. If you're going wheat on this corn stubble, uh, winter wheat actually can get more diseases from being on corn ground than, it, than wheat following wheat. The scab is worse following corn. It's the same, I believe it's fusarium, it's the same thing in corn smut as it is in wheat scab. So if you're going to wheat, you want to make, you know, we have way more options than we used to. The seed treatment um, at the herbicide application. Use a half rate of fungicide if if you need to. Um, the, sometimes, and it used to be more common, we needed the fungicide application at the flag leaf, and then they used one to prevent scab. Now we have better products at the flowering time to prevent scab that can also go back and cure any rust that's on your flag leaf. So. Um, we have way more options than we used to um, with the wheat, so that could be up to four fungicide treatments counting your seed treatment, and rarely do we need all those. Uh, we need a little moisture before we need any of those, I guess. Um, the scab treatment is um, way better than it was even 10 years ago. The seed treatment's a must. Uh, some people get bunt or stinking smut, and the only treatment for that is prevention with the seed treatment. So. Um, I've heard of truckloads being rejected because of that bunt or that stinking smut. It smells like fish, so when you open it up, um, that's what the elevator smells and they reject it. 
So those are some things to consider with your next crop. So you got the corn off early. Gee, do I plant winter wheat? Do I do my normal soybean rotation? Or maybe even corn on corn. So with that, this has been Roger Barrick, Agland Co-op. Thank you.